Hello again, Dominic Trofer, and welcome to another video. And uh, this one will be something video game related. Uh, now, since yesterday, I've had a bit of a, a bit of a think on on this about um, the Wii U. Now, <coughs> we all know that uh, Nintendo Switch launched yesterday, and Nintendo started off the ninth generation. And uh, my thoughts about this is. Now that the, the Nintendo Switch <laughs> is now out and everywhere, is the Wii U still worth purchasing? Now, a lot of people might be thinking yes, and a lot of people might be thinking no. Now, I'll talk about the, the no part of it first. Now, I understand why a lot of people might think it's not really worth buying for the Wii U. <laughs> a lot of people will say, well, Dominic, you know, the Switch is out, you know, it's, it's the new Nintendo console, and the Wii U's kind of like like dead now you know no one's really caring for it no one really wants it anymore and you know just really move on you know what I mean just don't bother with the Wii U and go for the Switch which I I quite think is a bit wrong because the Wii U you know did give us a lot of great stuff a lot of people thought of it as basically as you know something that qu uh, came quick and then you know you just click your fingers and then oh we're at Switch now a lot of people thought of it like that but I think, honestly, you shouldn't really look at the Wii U in a negative light. I understand why a lot of people do that. Because the Wii U, even though the way it went, it still did a lot of great things with it. Um, in my opinion, I would say it's it's well worth buying a Wii U now. Again, even, even if the Nintendo Switch is out now. If you didn't get a Nintendo Switch, a lot of people might probably get a Wii U. Now, this will end up being probably the best time to get a Wii U now because... A lot of stores now will will be getting rid of their Wii U stock because they don't need it anymore. The Nintendo Switch is the newest game console by Nintendo, sorry, the newest home game console by Nintendo, and they might not really bother with the Wii U. But also, you've got to look about pricing now because now with it, now with this happening, now that now that the Switch is out, a lot of a lot of places will be literally getting will be cutting the price down. Um, after a while because, you know, people don't want it and a lot of people do want it. And I, I, I honestly would say that even though the Wii U now is not supported by Nintendo anymore, it's kind of like the indie console, but it still has a lot of life with indie dev, de uh, developers. You know, there's so much great stuff still coming. Um, I know there's, there's a few games coming out, out that will look really, really good, um, such as um, Soul, Sa uh, Soul Saga, sorry. Um, and um, I think even Bloodstain is even coming out, um, as well as a lot of other ones. Um, so I think there's a lot of great stuff uh, to come for the Wii U, even if it's indie games, but still worthwhile games, which will be really, really good. Um, if you pick up a Wii U now, you've got a ton of amazing games and a good amount of library to go through and pick which games you want to purchase. And I think that's why it kind of helps you know, people stay on with the Wii U, you know, they might think, well, the Switch, I, I, I can't really afford it in the meantime, but um, I, want, I want to get a Nintendo console, I want to play the new Zelda game, the thing is, the Wii U's getting a lot more cheaper, do you know, what, do you know what, what I'll do? I'll buy it there, and a lot of people will buy it there, and I've spoken to a lot of people, you know, through social media and stuff, and a lot of people are buying Wii U's at this point, you know, they might, people might laugh at you, people might laugh at them thinking, do you know what, the person's an idiot, do you know what? Ignore them. Ignore all the negative comments. The Wii U is an amazing console. And if I did not have one now, I would totally pick one up. You know what I mean? Because it's just, you know, worth it and a lot cheaper now. So it is. Um, but also, you've got the digital games, you know, the eShop. And you've got the virtual console, which is still going, which is really, really nice. Um, alongside, you've got uh, backwards compatibility. Now... The Wii U um, is backwards compatible Wii games, so any Wii disc game you want to play, you can you can play it on that. Uh, any WiiWare or Virtual Console game you want to purchase, you can go on to Wii Mode to the Wii Shop channel, purchase the game, whatever you want, and you know, let it download, and you're literally playing away. And you know that that's the thing about it. So you've got this huge amount of games on one device. You know, it's probably got about. <laughs> a couple of thousand games, you know, 
if you include, you know, all, all, you know, overall, you know, you've got the Wii U games, you've got the eShop, you've got the Virtual Console, you've got, obviously, you've got the Wii games, because it's backwards compatible, you also have the WiiWare games, and you've got the Virtual Console, so you've got a good amount of content on the console, it's just, you know, well worth it. As well as it is said, you know, Zelda Breath of the Wild is on the Wii U. So, you know, if you've got a Wii U and, you know, you want to get the game, I would say get go get it for that. Um, but if you want the new console, you know, you, you probably go for that. Um, but there's so much great stuff on the, the Wii U that, that makes it worthwhile. Uh, now, a lot of people might say this on a bit of a bias. Well, obviously, the, the Nintendo Switch has just come out now. It has games on that already, already. Um, but there are so many games on that that may find a sequel on the Switch, um, such as Fast Racing Neo on the Wii U, and you've got Fast Remix on on the Switch. You know, um, it's the sequel to that game, and it looks amazing. Um, and there's just so much great stuff coming to it. Now, we obviously we do know that there are games being ported from Wii U to Switch. Um, but a lot of those games on the Wii U, a lot of people might not care about. But the reason they're bringing more of it is because of the fact that, because of the the failure of the Wii U, a lot of people did not buy those games. So putting them on the new console will make those games a lot more interesting to a lot of people. Um, and that's just the the way that that you know they're doing stuff. So I I would say I would say it, I, if someone did ask me it says. Dominic, do you think I should get a Nintendo Wii U, even though the Nintendo Switch has been out for a day now? I would say yes, you know, go for it. There's, you know, it's getting a lot cheaper. There's so many games out there that are well worth playing. Just so much great stuff, great content. And the thing is, I would never say no. I would never say no on that because um, I've loved playing the Wii U and I've spoken to a lot of people who have loved the console, you know, it, itself. It's, it's highly underrated well worth playing for and ignore the negative comments that people say about the Wii U. Ignore them and have an amazing great time playing these great games, playing all the great first party games that Nintendo gave us, uh, gave us um, play all the amazing third party games that are well worth playing uh, as well as all the eShop games, the virtual console games and just have a great time. Just have a fun time playing Wii U and you know having a blast. The thing is a lot of people now are getting Wii U's, and that's pretty good to say that, you know what I mean? Breath of the Wild will end up helping the Wii U kind of stay relevant for the meantime. Because a lot, a lot of people buying, you know, the Switch for Breath of the Wild. But I got I got it for Wii U, and so far I'm having a good time with it. It's a great game. And the thing is, even if you watch this video on, like, next year, whatever, do you know what? Whatever, whatever happens, even, even... When the far future, you know, the Wii U is still going to be a great console and, you know, that's the thing. Um, well worth playing for, like I said, definitely have a look around um, for pricing. Um, I would say if you do want to get a Wii U, um, do not buy one brand new. Uh, on Nintendo's website, they're still £250. And that's a lot of money, especially for a kind of a console done now, if it, you know what I mean? Uh, kind of a game console that's seen as obsolete now. You know what I mean? Um, but I would say if you want to get a Wii U, have a look around. Do not go brand new because it's not worth it. It's really, really not worth it. Two hundred and fifty pound, especially when the Switch is thirty pound more. You know what I mean? Because um, you can get a uh, you know some good deals and stuff, uh, even online and stuff. Um, I've seen you know some stores selling Wii U for like hundred and fifty pound. Uh, 130 at lowest I've seen. Um, that's in UK money though, that's the thing. Um, but even 130 is not bad, you know what I mean? Um, definitely have a look around. If you do want to, if one thing is if you do purchase a lot of games digitally, definitely get an external hard drive. Definitely get an external hard drive because that is really, really needed. I've got one on my Wii U, it's um, a 128 gigabyte. I did have a 32 gigabyte. But then I upgraded it to a 128 gigabyte, so it's kind of help. It helps a lot. But if you do purchase all your games digitally, then you've you know that's a problem. So you definitely have to think about that. Um, but yeah, you know if you do get a Wii U um, in the you know next week or whatever, or in a few months, enjoy it and have fun, and it will keep you busy until until the Switch, <laughs> until the Nintendo Switch 
goes down in price. A lot of people will enjoy a lot of great games and just have fun with it, you know what I mean? Just have fun, don't care, do not bother and care about all the negative comments that people give you, because I've got a lot of them and I, I ignore them. Wii U is an amazing console, well worth buying for in any year. So it is. So I just want to say uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video um, and um, stay tuned to my upcoming videos. I know I did say, didn't say I was going to upload uh, today, uh, being Saturday, because I did upload yesterday, Friday. Uh, but I thought, well, I want to do one. So um, I, I just want to say I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you stay, stay tuned to my upcoming videos. So I just want to say, see you later. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and see you later. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.